Hey guys, if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. I know exactly what's in here because I've already been into it, sorry. <laughs> but it's a knife I've already reviewed, it's a knife I've already handled, it's just a an interesting version of it. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. If you are enjoying the daily knife content on this channel and you'd like to support, uh, support me too, there is of course a link for my Patreon right down in the description. Your support would mean the world to me. And please follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay. Uh, this is a uh, Boker Kalashnikov, except. <laughs> uh, it's got sprinkles and stuff all over it. What's the deal with this? This is the Dessert Warrior Mini. Oh, boy. What? 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 Where where are we in this knife world where this <laughs> where this is a thing right <laughs> oh man so I have my own uh, Boker Kalashnikov because if you don't know I, I on this channel I highly recommend it absolutely the Boker Kalashnikov series of knives this is a, this is a uh, small this is a uh, the normal sized one then they have a large and they have a well, they have an XL and then they have a 2XL, right? That They get ridiculous. This is about a normal size. And then if you like a smaller one, right, um, then you can pick up a smaller one. Now, these are not available right now. I'm going to link them either. I'm going to link Boker Kalashnikovs in general. It, like, if you can imagine a color combo on these knives, it seems like they've got it. They've also got a ton of different blade shapes, right? Different coatings. They're, well, different colors of coatings, all that stuff. I'll link them right down below. These guys are not available right now. I, uh, you know, somebody had mentioned like, hey, are you going to pick up a dessert warrior? Not a desert warrior, dessert warrior, right? You get the joke? Okay. Uh, are you going to pick one up? And I was like, you know what? Yeah, I missed the last run of these. I'll go ahead and pick them up. Do not go to the secondary market and spend $200 on this. Don't do that. Why do people do that? We can't do anything about the people posting them for that much money, but we can control whether or not we buy them. Don't do that. I'm sure it's, I, listen, I don't know this for a fact. I'm just guessing maybe we'll see those again. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that was the last run, but for the love of God, this is not a $200 knife. This is a $40 to $45 knife, which is what they sold for. Okay. So don't do that. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. It's interesting, right? Pink with... Donut sprinkles, and then you have a different color for each. <laughs> Yellow, purple, red, green, blue, and a blue blade. Right? Beautiful. Um, this is not something that I'm going to sell. Don't ask me. This is a Christmas gift meant for somebody who I think will specifically appreciate it. It's actually a, a non-knife friend of mine, um, and I, I just I, I thought she might appreciate it. So um, don't. Yeah, I'm not going to sell it. I don't. I'm not going to do that. Uh, but yeah, please don't. Please don't go to the secondary market and do that. People, oh God. These are these are interesting. Um, there's nothing, you know, this is still the OS 8 steel, right? The coating is not, you know, you're not buying a, a superior version of the knife, right? I know collectors go nuts and they want to, you know, because this, this knife is like a, a part of knife history, right? Everybody will always remember the Dessert Warrior Kalashnikov, right? It's funny. Honestly, I'd kind of like to see some other companies experiment with that a little bit. Just make ridiculous, sort of overly friendly versions of knives. Because we've, you know, knives have always had this... The knife world has always had this, like, unnecessarily overly tactical vibe with a lot of the stuff that it puts out, right? Sometimes knives take themselves too seriously, right? This is a fun way to be like... Hey, we all kind of, you know, <laughs> we just kind of enjoy ridiculous for the sake of ridiculousness, right? So, um, yeah, I think it'd be funny if some other companies or especially some other budget brands, because it's easier to do, some other budget brands make some overly friendly sort of ridiculous versions of knives. I think that would be really fun and I think people would like them, right? And it might help people not you know, spend so much money on these. 
on the secondary market. This is fun. It's interesting. There may be a video overview of this. I've already reviewed the mini Boker Kalashnikov, the full-size Boker Kalashnikov, and the XL and XXL Boker Kalashnikov. You can check all of those out in my recommended knives playlist if you want to hear my thoughts on them. But yeah, I don't really feel like I need to re-review the, uh, the mini Kalashnikov. It's cool though. Um, came slightly off centered as is, you know, generally the case. Eh, it's just slightly off centered. My green one, I think, you know, these are $45 knives. They're not crazy special. My green one's a little bit off center to the right. Plenty of power in that large one. Less power, admittedly, in the smaller one, but it's fine. I'm sure it'll loosen up over time and, and, you know, get a little bit more powerful. Powerful. Slight up and down and left and right blade play. I don't really care uh, on a knife like this, right? It'd be nice if it was complete. Some of these come completely solid and totally centered, right? But don't be surprised if you pick one up and it's got a little bit of play. Um, I say this every time I talk about the Kalashnikov. I've got a buddy who's had one for 14 years. And it shows the wear that, uh, you know, has been applied to it over the years. The thing has never been taken apart. I asked him about it. I said, have you ever taken it apart? He said, no. The thing is caked. Absolutely caked in 14 years of debris inside and out, right? It's got a little bit of up and down, a little bit of left and right. I said, the thing ever disengage on you or fail to fire? And he said, no. Um, so there you go. Uh, I just don't, you know, it's not something that really bothers me on a knife like this. Something about the plunge lock just makes it continue to work properly. So, um, yeah, pretty cool. Funny, interesting, bizarre. I like stuff like this. As a, uh, as a knife enthusiast, I think stuff like this is just funny. Anyways, that's going to be pretty much it today, guys. Like I said, links for the Boker Kalashnikov and all of the models that are currently available will be right down below so you guys can check those out if you want. There are a ton, so even if you're not going to buy one, it is fun to kind of just scroll through and look at it all. Uh, anyways, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.